Hello it's your favorite extra, today's video covers the topic of the gender dysphoria that comes with being someone that identifies under the intergender umbrella. This is very emotionally charged so the writing isn't my best. This topic is also one I struggle to capture despite my strong connection to it. I hope this helps someone out there and enjoy the video. Ever since we were born we were supposed to fit in a box, good or bad, light or dark selfless or selfish in actuality there's more options than those given to us neutrality gray and moderate self-care so why is it so hard to accept that one cannot simply be boy or girl jiro always knew that there was just something that didn't feel quite right her body didn't match the figure she wanted her voice sounded different than the one that should belong to her and the clothes that she was forced to wear felt odd in presentation she existed in a limbo where sometimes the way she was born was just all right However, other times, she felt trapped in a foreign land. Like her conscious was swapped in another body for a day. She thought she was crazy. How could she get this alienated sense of self to dissolve? Would it ever disappear? She's heard about all the different genders and pronouns and most importantly the things people say to those daring to step out of line. But something needed to change. This swirling worry of not being who she really was sunk into her bones like an aching pleading treatment. Hey Kaminari. Hey Jiro, is something up? You never call me that. I was just wondering if I could borrow some of your clothes. I like your style and I wanted to see if it suits me. The Jiro asking me for help? Sure, just wash them before bringing them back. Why wouldn't I dunce face? Haha <laughs> that's the Jiro I know. Let's stop by my dorm now. This was the solution she found. She knew that Denki wouldn't judge her. Even if he did she would feel comfortable finding any retort. To offhand comments. There was a size difference but she enjoyed the masculine appearance. But she just felt like she was a toddler getting shoes and blazers from her dad's closet. She switched back to her clothing which felt like she was restricted by invisible rope. She couldn't stand the thought of just being a girl. She, her, hers. None of that felt right. But he, him, his didn't either. All. The consequences rushed to the front of her mind like a tornado tearing her train of thought. If I'm not a girl or a guy then what am I? Who am I? Can I even call myself Jiro anymore? Does that name even belong to me? What will people say? What would they think? What would they do? Would I be respected? Is it too much if I change my pronouns? My name? Is all of this even worth it? Why can't it? Just be easy. Why can't I just? Then they stopped. They knew the answer to that. They knew that the thought of being referred to as a female left a knot in their stomach. It left their mind uneasy and disconnected from their body as if it simply weren't theirs to control. If only there was a factory reset, a default model, then maybe they wouldn't want to have a stature similar to Bakugo. Maybe if they looked more like Momo they wouldn't have to question their femininity. They knew they were just blaming their own feelings on other stereotypes. They knew they just wanted a blank slate to work with. Why can't I just be me, Jiro? A soft voice interrupted the low subs that were edging in Jiro's voice. Desperate for some confirmation, Jiro swung the door open and held on to the person that was just beyond the doorway. Jiro, what's wrong? What happened? I, I can't take this anymore. I don't know who I am and I can't, I just can't. What are you talking about? Tell me so I can help you. I'm not Jiro anymore. That name doesn't fit me. Being a girl doesn't fit me and I don't know what to do about it. But I don't want to be a guy and everyone is going to see me as crazy and I can't even stand the voice I'm using. To tell you all this, I don't want to change but what other choice do I have? I can't expect to be respected if I like girls things still, can I? I just want to be me, I can't take it anymore. I just want to be me but I don't even know who me is. I can't, I can't, I can't. Jiro listen. Momo's voice acted as an air horn to chase the impending panic from Jiro. Momo watched as the person before. Her heaved their grievances in one breath calling out for help. You don't have to decide who you are right now. But if I don't then will I be too late? Would I ever? Listen to me. I don't know how you're feeling. And I might never understand it. But that doesn't mean I think any less of you. I can't tell you who you have to be. Who you want to be. But I'll do anything I can to help you. If you want. To change your name. Then you won't be Jiro anymore. If you want to change your pronouns then tell me so I can use them. If you can't find anything you're comfortable in then we'll go shopping. It's going to take time to get used to, and I don't promise to make no mistakes. But I respect you, 
You deserve to feel that comfort. After everything, you decide that you just like being the way you are. Now then you can say for sure that this is who you are. How else are you supposed to know? Jiro stared at Momo, not being able to comprehend her easy compliance. This response wasn't one of the ones they planned for. Her reassurance was baffling and enamored them. Thank you. That was all Jiro managed to squeeze. I made this video to capture my struggle with gender identity. It's often hard for people to understand gender dysphoria if they themselves have never experienced it. Even though I changed my pronouns and name a while ago, sometimes my body doesn't feel like my own. It's as if I'm a living lie. There is a certain panic, helplessness, and disregard to one's own feelings when it comes to questioning your gender. However, I want all of you to know that you're not crazy. You deserve the same love and respect others get for expressing your identity. I am proud of you for any decision you make. Don't let others try to box you in just because they don't like that you're different.